the old saying, sharpen the saw, you want to keep, keep up, to, up to date on your skills. Um, and the, the, the more you train, the better you are in a real life situation. Every day, Police Chief Steve Gamel and his 30 officers hit the streets of Genoa Township, trusting in their training. You can always have more. You can't have too much training. Um, there's always something else you can be working on. I don't want to reach in here because what happens if he grabs me now? Smaller departments, like Genoa, are often forced to shoehorn their training in whenever they can find time. Yeah, so one thing we do here is we try to utilize the overlapping shifts. Um, so that way we can pull officers off the road and provide them an hour to two hours of in-service roll call training on various topics like high-risk traffic stops, building searches, um, active threat response. We're very fortunate that we have our own training room in our new building and we're able to do our training here as well as host uh, outside courses for other law enforcement agencies. So we try to use this as often as possible uh, for outside courses and we do the benefit to us is we get free seats in the class as the other outside agencies have to pay a fee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, training costs money. It absolutely does cost money. Nothing's, fr nothing's free. Yeah. The Ohio Attorney General's office has mandated some training for the past two years. So this is the required training uh, that the state uh, mandates every year. So it lists um, the requirement for 24 hours worth of training. Also, the, they mandate eight hours, and then each department can pick 16 hours of their own training. Well, we do a lot of uh, training like active response training, which we just recently did where we partnered with our fire department on responding to an active shooter. Uh, we do a lot of training in traffic stops. Uh, we do a lot of training in response to resistance. Ma'am, I need you to drop the knife. Drop the knife, please, ma'am. Who pays for the training? Ma'am, drop it. Well, we pay for the training. Um, we don't get any money from the state for training other than they reimburse us for the mandatory 24 hours of training they require every year. But above and beyond that, every agency has to pay the bill. And that can be a heavy burden for some departments. But there are a lot of small agencies that just don't have the funding and there's no money to be had to do the training. What do you think the key challenge is to getting enough training? I would say it's probably staffing and funding. They, they go hand in hand um, as a smaller agency, especially. <laughs> After a sheriff's canine attacked a surrendering truck driver in Circleville, the governor said this. This incident in Circleville should be a, a, a lesson, uh, a wake-up call uh, to everyone that police training in the state of Ohio is not equal. It needs to be equal. The attorney general has since announced a blue ribbon panel examining the future of police training in Ohio. What are the things that we could do better? What, what are we doing that maybe we don't need to do anymore because times have changed? Uh, what's new on the horizon? And maybe most of all, what is it that we don't know that we don't know? Ideally, what do you need from the government to make sure your officers are better trained? Well, we need the good courses available and we need the funding to be able to go to those courses. The government's gonna get involved, they need to bring money. That's right, Nothing, nothing's free.